On today's weekly tip, I'm gonna be sharing how I'm building out my sales process that feeds into onboarding. So the whole idea is that when I have a new client coming on board, that it's like so easy, it makes my head spin. Because a lot of the times before when you take on new clients, there's all this administrative work and it can feel like really overwhelming sometimes when there's so many different tasks. And um, generally it just doesn't flow that well if you don't have something sequentially kind of built out. So I've been working on mine today. I think it looks really great. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and give you again an idea of how you could create something similar for your business based on the stages in which you have your sales process go. So I love this, I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna do another live demo. So bear with me if there's any like glitches along the way. And when I say if, I mean there absolutely will be. So my sales process basically starts with a form and I have it on my website. And so it looks like this, it has just kind of an overview. I kind of actually wanna change this a little bit um, to be, yeah, I think there's some tweaks that could be made, but I have it actually embedded on my website. So when somebody comes to my website, then they are sent to this form and it looks like, oh, interesting. Oh, what? I got a dead button, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for saving me on my dead button. So here we are. This is what the form looks like. It's not the prettiest, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to do fancy coding in the background. I'm sure you can make this prettier, but this is what it looks like. Or if I get an email lead, I just send them the link directly to this form. So that's the form. So when somebody fills out the form, then it goes into this list automatically, right? So because nobody is doing that, I'm just gonna say example, and I'm gonna create, let's just pretend that somebody went on my website and they filled out the form. So it comes through and it looks like this, but it will have their information in it. So actually maybe it would just be worthwhile to actually do the process fully. So my name is Katie Hanky, which is my sister's name. And then I'm just gonna literally put, um, mm -hmm. yeah, let's just do that, sure. Um, mom, mom, mom. Actually, I don't even need to include my email address because I'm just gonna show you what they look like right in my inbox because I already have them sent to me. Oh my, okay, bear with me. I'll pause while I do this. Okay, we're back. So I did actually add, I'm gonna say a little caveat here to have this CAPTCHA because I was getting a lot of like just garbage leads coming in or leads spam, I should say, um, coming in from that. So I've had to add that. So that helps. I'll just say, if you're gonna use this through ClickUp, then I was just adding that. So I'm just going to delete the example one that I just made and we'll just focus on this one. So the company name is Katie Hanky Consulting. I put a one, but that's not a very good example. Okay, so that example came back again. Gotta love the live demo. Okay, folks. So now what you'll notice is that we have statuses, right? So I've got lead opportunity. These are all standard to click up um, CRM templates. So I did not make these. I've just kind of fit myself into what sales process already exists. I was new to sales, so this is kind of me just conforming. So you'll see that these are different sales statuses. There's also stages. So again, this was part of the standard CRM template. All I've done is add additional automations on top of it. So let's say we're we're in the sales process. We've had our you know discovery call. They're like, yes, Robin, I am ready to go. Like I've already pitched my services. And they're like, let's, can you send me a contract? Okay, amazing. So at this point, the stage should be, you know, proposal. Like I would be updating this as I go along. But if they're at the point where they're like, hey, I want, I want the contract sent, then that is considered finalizing. So when I hit finalizing, then there's an automation, an email automation that's set up that will send this email address. So this is the email address they enter in at the form level, which is their email address. It will send their email address a templated email that is basically saying, let me just find it in my inbox. Okay, this is what it looks like. So 
sequentially in the process, we still need from them now, like all of the information for the contract itself. And so we can issue them an invoice, right? So what I'm, what I've done here is it's like, I've used the, um, when they put their name into the form, I honestly don't know if I like that. I might just take that out because it's like a full name. So it looks kind of, looks very much like I've used that, um, field here. I might take that out. It just says, hey, I'm so grateful you've decided to work with us to prepare your contract. I need a couple of details from you first. And then these are all, the, this is all the information that I would be using for the contract. I would need to be asking the client for this information at some point because they haven't given it to me yet at, at this point in the process, right? It's not part of my sales form to ask for their legal business name. You know, you don't, you don't do that. And also I've asked for their um, payment preference method. So if they want to do direct deposit, I can provide them that direct deposit form. Otherwise I can just let them know the email like sh shows up on the invoice anyway. So that's the first automation. So they'll reply back to that. And actually when they do reply back, it should show up in the comments here. So let me just go ahead and do this just for the fun of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to finalizing and we're gonna give it a couple seconds for the automation to click in. Okay, here it is. Oh no, that's the, sorry, that's the task. That's not the email. <laughs> One moment. Okay, here it is. So it's popped up into my email. Amazing. So here's the exact same thing. It's just swapped out um, my name for my sister's name. Amazing. So what I wanted to show you was how that looks inside of the task. So it actually includes that email. Like you can confirm that it went out based on here in your inbox. So what I'm gonna try right now, testing if this shows up in the task. Boom, let's see how that works. Do we get that full track record? I'm not sure, to be honest, it would be nice to know. And then we could have it all included in one. It would be amazing if it came through. Let's, let's give it a moment. Okay, sadly it doesn't come through here, which is a bit of a miss. I feel like there was a way to do that, but alas, there are some limitations. So presumably I'll just get this information in my inbox. I could copy and paste it and include it inside of this task so that I have that reference. But the next step is obviously that I would send them the contract and they would sign it. And then we would go into the onboarding phase. So onboarding, let's check out what that looks like. I think this is really cool too. So they've signed the contract, they've like, I've issued the invoice and we are ready to go into onboarding. Boom, I've got another automation set up and it will send them an email. And it looks like this, which is says, let's hit the ground running. So excited that you've come on board. Um, social media marketing is a real powerhouse. To get started, we have a quick five minute questionnaire, an opportunity for you to fill us in before we head into the discovery call. Okay, one thing, yeah, discovery call. At the end of the questionnaire, you'll have an opportunity to book one hour at a time, to book a one hour at a time that works for you. Actually, I need to update this because it's 90 minutes. I've decided 90 minutes is more appropriate. Don't worry, you don't need to bring anything and blah, blah, blah. So if I quick click on this link, this is what they would be sent to, welcome on board. And this is the beginning of gathering of the requirements that everybody has from their clients. It's de depending on you know what kind of client you have will determine what types of things you wanna gather from them, right? So I've just included things like, what are your top three priorities, specific goals, ask for brand guidelines and some targeting information, any libraries of photo links, competitors, um, and then which tools do you already have that we can get access to? The purpose of this was so that I can be like, okay, they don't have a LinkedIn ads account, so we need to create one. Okay, they don't have Google Analytics, so we need to create one. Or they have Google Analytics, okay, we just need to guide them through to get access to it. So that was the idea behind this form. And then the last thing says, check this box if you have a developer on your team who will be responsible for setting up tracking. And again, this is just so that I know when it comes time to do tracking, if I need to hire my um, contractor to do that, or if there's somebody that I can be delegating it to on their team. And that is just, Oh, actually, sorry, one more thing that I want to show you um, is what they see after they complete the form. I'm not going to go through the process of completing the form, um, but uh, da, da, da. okay, actually, I'll show you how it's set up too. So the link for the form that I just showed you is actually inside of a folder in my delivery section called new client onboarding, right? So this is just a place for 
new clients to be onboarded into our systems, like basically administratively, because that's essentially the point where first we're like, let's just get them into our systems and then we can onboard them in in terms of their systems. So that's kind of the idea behind this. So when somebody completes this form, then at the very end, they are sent to a thank you, which says, you know, thank you, you're almost finished. Please book your 90 minute brand workshop. So really easy for them to get that process booked in their calendar. And when they complete the form on the back end, it complete or uh, creates a list of those administrative tasks that I talked about. So like duplicating the, the new client folder in ClickUp, getting them, into, getting a channel created in Slack and Google Drive, um, confirming that the discovery call has been booked. If not, then obviously we would want to uh, reply back. Um, taking some of the details from that questionnaire that they filled in and putting them in to uh, a client folder in the new client folder and then um, a scope management dashboard update. But that stuff is more specific to how my business works. But the point is just to show you like you can break these steps down so that it's literally so easy that you just have to do the work. Honestly, that's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing is setting up these systems. My least favorite thing is actually doing the work. So keep that in mind. Um, it's just so easy. You have no choice but to just start banging out these tasks. But you can also see how once you fill in these tasks, that's the other thing. Because I work by myself a lot of the time and I'm the one doing all these things, I don't have any kind of processes built out. I'm not saying specifically what to do in all of these tasks, but if I did want to hire somebody, then I could fill in those tasks and they would easily know what what to do, right? So it's it's very simple in that way. So that's that's pretty much it. So right there, we just went from um, to sales inquiry, like they're actually reaching out to say, hey, I wanna work together, through to creating the contract and gathering the information from the contract that, or gathering the information for the contract that we need to get them to sign it, to finalize all that getting them onboarded, getting getting information from them before we have their brand discovery workshop and doing our own system onboarding uh, process after that. From there, you know, we have, if anybody has, or I shouldn't say anybody, because if you don't have these, do not fear, I'm still working on mine, um, a new client folder. So a part of these tasks, as you can see here, it says duplicate new client folder and onboarding and relevant workflows. So this, I would just, I would come in and I would duplicate this. So this is what I'm working on right now is just kind of breaking it down into these lists, into these chunks, right? And I wanna, I wanna know how long these things are gonna take me. So I'm looking at it in terms of my time estimates. So I've got these phases like brand discovery, KPI audit planning, tool onboarding and creation, and then the analytics audit and builds. And so I have those all kind of chunked out and that's all just the onboarding. Um, onboarding tasks, right? And that's why we charge extra money or a separate line item for onboarding because there's all these extra steps that we need to take to set things up and to get access to all of their tools. So I'm really just trying to make it as easy on myself as possible to onboard a new client, right? Imagine how amazing it would be to just be able to take on new clients and just run them through this process and know that it's just working like in the background and all the information and all the tasks and everything you need to do to get this client where you want them to be is already in place. Like it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful thing. I love this stuff. Okay, that's it. I, I'm really trying hard to make these videos shorter, but it is very difficult. Let me know if this is helpful. As always, I, I really want, I want some feedback. I, I wanna know if this is helpful to people, if you feel like, I don't know, just let me know some feedback so that I can kind of alter what I'm creating and create things that'll be beneficial for you too. This is how I'm operating, but I would love to be able to create specific things for like specific solutions rather. If you have a process that right now that's like really painful and you're like, hey Robin, can you make this easier? Is there a way that ClickUp can make this easier? I love those challenges. Please send them to me. Um, but that's it for now. Until next week. In next week's ClickUp tip. Or not ClickUp tip. Not just only ClickUp, but all of the tips. Until then. Okay, see you. Bye.